So students, we have seen that the clockwork mouse had reached um, in the forest where it had met with uh, various creatures. First the wood mice and then the owl and its uh, three owlets. The owl and the owlets found it uh, uh, inedible, that means uh, not fit to be eaten and they threw it out from their nest and it fell down on it on the ground uh, below their uh, tree. The clockwork mouse lay at the floor of the hollow tree for months until autumn came and the leaves fell and hid it from sight forgotten by all the world. So it fell down on the ground and we all know that during the autumn season the old leaves of the tree they uh, fall down and uh, here also in the forest the leaves had fallen down on the ground and as the clockwork mouse was li lying on the um, ground uh, of the forest the leaves fell upon it and hid it under them. So it was absolutely forgotten by everybody. Only once was it remembered and that was because Jimmy's mother decided to have the old carpet in his bedroom replaced and the carpet fitter found something wedged in a crack in the floorboards. So uh, one, only once it was remembered when Jimmy's mother had decided to uh, renovate his bedroom. So in the western world, it, this story uh, belongs from the western uh, world. So there the uh, floors, like we uh, make our floors right, uh, nowadays uh, with tiles. We put the tiles or marbles on the floor. Uh, similarly, in their uh, countries, they put on the wood on the floor. Uh, they polished wood on the floor. So Jimmy's mother had thought about renovating, uh, replacing the carpet on uh, the floor of his bedroom and when the carpet fitter had come and uh, uh, taken out the old carpet from there and uh, was taking the measurements and all, he found that between the two floorboards uh, in the crack, uh, a small brass key was stuck up, wedged means stuck up. Do you know what this fits Jimmy? His mother said to him later, handing him a little brass key. So, uh, because it was Jimmy's uh, bedroom, so Jimmy's mother, when the carpet fitter had handed her the small brass key, she asked Jimmy that, do you know, uh, what does it fit? Um, Jimmy looked at it and uh, shook his head. But then he said, wait a minute though, I remember now, it is the key to my clockwork mouse. Where is it mum? So at first Jimmy could not uh, recognize the key and he said, no, I don't know, what does it fit? Then suddenly he said, okay, okay, wait, wait, uh, I, I can remember. Uh, it, it, it belongs to my uh, old toy, uh, the clockwork mouse. Where is my toy, ma'am? Uh, Mum, uh, mother, he is asking his mother, where, where is that toy? Uh, I chucked it away years and years ago. Chucked it means threw away. I threw it away years and years ago. Mom, it was my mouse. So Jimmy is telling, oh, oh, why did you throw it away? It was my toy. It was one of my favorite toys. Honestly, Jimmy, his mother said, Anyone would think you were still seven instead of twice that age. That means Jimmy is at present, um, what age is he? He is twice. When he got back the clockwork mouse, uh, he got the clockwork mouse, he was seven years old. Now he is twice that age. That means he is 14 years old right now. So Jimmy's mother is telling that uh, you are crying for that old toy. Right now, as if you are still uh, 7 years old, not 14 years old. Why are you behaving childish? I like that mouse, Jimmy said. I shall keep the key anyway in memory of the poor old chap. So, Jimmy said, Ki, I like that uh, toy very much. And... Um, 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 let me 
me keep the key. Uh, you have thrown away my toy. Uh, let at least let me keep the um, key for the sake of its memory, uh, so that I, I can remember it. Whenever I will uh, look at the key, I will be able to remember my favorite toy. In fact, the poor old chap was on the move again. Now, the poor old chap was on the move again. Remember, clockwork mouse had fallen down on the ground and the leaves had covered it and everybody had forgotten. It was hidden from the world. Now, the poor old chap, that means the clockwork mouse, was again on the move. Somebody had discovered it. <clears throat> A grey squirrel searching through the bed of leaves on the floor of the wood trying to remember where it had buried an acorn had come upon the clockwork mouse. Now who had found out the clockwork mouse from the uh, bed of the leaves? Uh, a squirrel which was finding uh, a piece of corn. It had forgotten where it had uh, dropped it. And it was uh, finding the piece of corn uh, for the winter storage for uh, its uh, food. So um, when it was uh, removing the leaves, it found it out that uh, clockwork mouse from the ground. And scratched at it angrily. Scratched at it angrily. What is that? Kicking it out into the open. So, it was on its way. The clockwork mouse was on its way in finding the piece of corn. So, it, first it uh, scratched at it angrily that it was uh, being a uh, blockade in its path and then it kicked it away. In the days that followed, a number of other woodland creatures came upon the mouse. So, after the... Uh, the squirrel had kicked it out from the bed of the leaves. Uh, the clockwork mouse again came in contact with a number of animals in the forest. A badger picked it up in its great jaws and carried it a little way and dropped it again. Badger, it is a mammal with white black stripes. It, is, it looks like a big rat. Okay. So, uh, it is a kind of animal which uh, has a white and black stripes on its body and looks like a big rat. So, um, it had picked it up uh, in its uh, um, jaws and carried it a little uh, way and uh, then after playing for, uh, with it for some time, it had dropped it. A weasel, it is also a small reddish brown colored animal in the forest. A weasel worried at it for a moment before tossing it aside. So uh, when a weasel was passing by, it came across the clockwork mouse on the forest floor and um, looked at it for a while like this and then it also uh, kicked it um, away. A hedgehog nibbled at its fur and found it tasteless. Hedgehog, uh, you know, the porcupine type of uh, creature. So it had uh, nibbled, um, uh, bitten uh, on the uh, body of the clockwork mouse in order to eat it, but found it tasteless. So it had also left it. A green woodpecker tapped it on the head with its strong beak. Now a woodpecker had also pecked at its head on with the strong beak. So these were the various animals that came across the clockwork mouse in the forest. So uh, let us see next we, who is going to uh, get the clockwork mouse at last.